Meanwhile, the lack of homes for sale and the Federal Reserve's determination to bring down inflation by using high interest rates, well, those forces are coming to a head in the housing market. Yahoo Finance's Danny Romero joins us with more on this. Danny, what are you watching? Hi, Rochelle. Well, the U.S. is dealing with a housing affordability issue. There is recent data that really highlights the issue at hand. Builders are facing a dilemma right now that if they build a home, they most likely will have to help that buyer afford that home, given the fact that mortgage rates are hovering over that 7% percent or hold back. But if they hold back, then that prolongs the issue of supply and inventory that the housing market needs. And data out on Tuesday really highlights the slowdown in home building. Housing starts fell over 11 percent in August, driven by the drop in multifamily units, that's condos, apartments. But single family starts also fell too. This aligns with another survey out this week on Monday that really showed a very sour sentiment around home builders. The home builders are, are losing some of their steam, their confidence and enthusiasm that they had earlier this year. And home prices are rising. We have to add that to the equation as well. So that's further squeezing the affordability problem right now. What is this signal? Higher mortgage rates is not only taking a toll on home builder confidence, but also consumer demand. So what's the solution here? Well, more supply, but if builders are skittish about rates and affordability, then that will further cause an imbalance in the supply, which we definitely need in the U.S. Rochelle. So then, Danny, with that in mind, KB Home reports earnings after the bell. What are the key takeaways that you're going to be looking for? KB Home is a home builder that thrives off of build to order strategy. And in this third quarter results, one of the big prime highlights that I'm hoping to hear a lot from is the buyer demand. In the second quarter, KB Home focused on entry level buyers. Is that happening this year, this quarter, or was there a little bit of a shift? Also, incentive perks. We've heard across all the home builders about some of the incentives they've been offering, such as mortgage rate buy, buy downs to really boost some of the sales. Is that what happened this quarter? And cancellation rate. This goes hand in hand with buyer demand. Um, are buyers getting cold feet? We've been hearing a little bit of that in the resale market That's there's been some pullback. And then finally, to round out everything is the outlook. Is the company going to increase their housing starts or are they going to be going through their backlog? That will really signal how this home builder is really hoping to end the year. Is it with a bang or is there some softness ahead? Rochelle? Certainly a very different time when buyers were sort of hand over fist, waving, waving all contingencies at the peak of uh, COVID. And, and now look at where we are now. So it'd be interesting to take a close look at that outlook. Appreciate you as always, our very own Danny Romero.